Welcome back guys, it's me Mr. Frederick once again here showing you part two of how to study better. And one of the tips I'm going to share with you today is self-discipline. Self-discipline has helped me a lot. Um, it has helped me overcome challenges. And what is self-discipline, you may ask? Um, self-discipline is basically the ability for you to um, choose the right thing, right, instead of the easy thing, um, in order to achieve success, all right? Example, the right thing to do is to wake up early and study. Wake up at 5 in the morning to study, right? The easy thing to do is to sleep till 7 or 8, right? So it's easy to sleep later and to just rest. But it's, it's a challenge. But it's the right thing to wake up earlier so that you can achieve your goals, right? Another example would be um, if you're given a homework assignment or you're giving an assignment at a job to do and it's due, in a, it's due in a week, the right thing to do is to do it early, get accustomed to it, master the ability, master the skill so that you less stress. That's the right thing to do. It requires more work or it requires more thinking, but that's the right thing to do. It's, it's a challenge. The easy thing to do is to wait for the last second, last minute to do it. And some people have the ability to do it and it still works. But that's stressful, right? The easy thing is to, you know, be lazy at it, right? So to self, you need to self-discipline yourself, not only for school, but for all aspects of your life. Self-discipline your mind so that you can study, you can understand, learn. Le learn to love to learn. Love learning. Yeah, I love to learn. Um, discipline yourself to read. I know you have a lot of iPads and devices that you can read on the thing. But don't forget to also read a hardcover book too. All right? Um, it's very important to do that so you don't lose that ability. Um, practice math without a calculator. Um, anticipate what the cashier change is going to be when you give $20. Um, okay? Um, discipline yourself physically like an athlete does, like the Olympics. They spend four years of intense training, training their bodies so that when they come to the competition, they train four years so that they could perform for through two to three minutes, all right, or for a couple of days. Interesting. Just like a boxer. They be training six to eight months, training their body just for one fight, just for, you know, just for that one day of fighting. And that is like that in life. But to get far like that, you have to discipline yourself. Um, choose the right thing, which isn't always easy. Which isn't easy. Let me just say it like that. It isn't easy to do the right thing. But when you choose that one, that's the key to helping you be self-disciplined. Um, and also, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. So it's uncomfortable to wake up early, to to pursue your dreams. It's uncomfortable to do something new that you don't you never learned before. But once you do it, it takes you to a new level. Okay? So that is it for today. Um, this is Mr. Frederick. I'm giving you this tip and stay tuned for next tips and motivation. Take care and peace.